I have shown you how to farm lots of airdrop in this channel. It is time to start claiming those airdrop. There are also four new easy to farm airdrop that I will show you how to farm. They require little capital and one time setup. Now, some persons have been to the comment section of my previous videos and are like, Jude, I have not made any money from these airdrop videos. The thing guys is that in crypto, you have to take action, be patient and be consistent. I'll give you three examples. I showed you how to farm the Jito airdrop on a live video here in this channel. If you took action, the minimum reward was $10,000. In the last airdrop video that I made, I discussed three airdrops. One is Athena. Athena dropped in less than one week after that video was published. Now, if you took part in that airdrop, you will have gotten a little Athena uh, just because the farming was just for one week. However, that was season one. Season two of Athena is still on. For Camino, season one is done and the season two has started. It is on right now. You can check your eligibility for the season one. I will leave the link in the description. You can see that for Camino, in one of my wallets, I have 766.57 um, KMNO. Now, I will be able to claim this once the claim button is turned on and this is happening um, soon. I can see that when I try to make these airdrop videos, I use, try to use test it out and show you guys. So I see I have some little Camino in other wallets that I use in testing this out. Again, if you have also followed my airdrop videos and you are farming marinade, Camino, Drift and the rest of the airdrop that I've made in the Solana ecosystem, you will have received the WEN token when it airdropped and also the Jupiter airdrop. There's no way you will have done all this and you wouldn't have received it worth at least $1,000. So, you have to take action, be consistent and be patient. And you must not farm all the airdrops. Do the ones you can do with the time you have and the resources you have. The next four airdrops that we're showing you here on this channel now are easy to farm airdrop. The first one is Gumbo. The second one is Build on Bitcoin, Bob. Next one is Sanctum, then Phoenix. Gumbo is on BNB Smart Chain, BOB on Ethereum. The wallet you need here is Metamax. Sanctum and Phoenix are on the Solana network. And what you need is the Phantom wallet to farm this. I believe you all know how to um, set up Metamax and Phantom. I've talked about it in my other videos. The minimum you need is just $10 to farm each of this airdrop. Now this is $10 to farm the airdrop. I'm not considering the transaction fee here. Now for Solana and BSC, the gas fee is very small. If I less than 50 cents, it's fine for you. But for the Ethereum network, you need about additional $7 to be able to farm this airdrop. Again, you can farm the ones that you can farm. Let's start with the first one. The first one is Gumbo. It is a blockchain based game developer that creates Katra games and it's a great demo with blockchain technology. Its aim is to bridge the gap between traditional Web2 gaming and its blockchain based counterparts. The company has raised $10 million in funding from Binance Lab, Amico Brand, Autos Ventures, Shima Capital, and others in the first round, which happened in 2023. And this year, they have raised additional funds from Spartan, Hashed, IOSG Ventures, Foresight Ventures, Big Brain Holdings, and the rest of them. They also have an incentive program. And this incentive program is the airdrop. It means that the airdrop has been confirmed. To farm the airdrop, you need BNB to pay for gas fee and you need USDT or USDC. The process is simple. What you do is that you go to Gambo and you stake a minimum of 10 USDT on Gambo. That is, that is how simple it is. Let's get straight to the practical of this. So if you go to Gambo here, all I need to do is to click on get started. Uh, I'll leave you the link to the website in the description. I'll go here and I'm going to uh, continue with Google. So I've connected my Google. I'll, I'll click on connect. I'm going to connect my MetaMask wallet. And the next thing is to stake a token. Now, the minimum you should stake is $10, but you can stake much more than that. The more you stake, of course, the more reward 
you are likely to get. I'm going to click on detail and enable stick enable. Then click on stick. Enter the amount, which is $50. That's what I want to stick. I'm going to click on enable. Continue. Um, so I want to click on stick now. Now, when I want to enter, see, I want to stick $50, but you can see it says insufficient allowance. It means that I can no longer stick um, USDT. Um, I also tried USDC. I can no longer stick USDC. What I could stick is um, BNB. So if I click on stick and I can, the minimum BNB I can stick is 0.1 BNB. What I would do now is to go and top up my BNB. I'll just simply swap my USDT for BNB. I'm gonna swap everything. Now, when you're sticking BNB, see, you, don't, you no longer need a minimum of $10. $10 is about 51 BNB. That's what you need to stick BNB. This is the $4. So I'll go ahead and click on confirm. So that is basically all I need to do here. You can see here that I'm sticking BNB here. So that is how you um, start farming the... The next one is build on Bitcoin, which is BOB. Build on Bitcoin is a new layer to stack for Bitcoin that combines Bitcoin security and the power of Ethereum's programmability, scalability, and user experience. It enhances Bitcoin functionality and uses Bitcoin layer 1 to set to custody and storage. It is also straightforward to farm. So you will go to the website, that's the first thing you do, and you will enter an access code. I will give the access code, then connect your Twitter and follow them, then connect your wallet and deposit USDT. BOB is on Ethereum blockchain, so you have to have um, USDT on Ethereum and have some to pay gas fee with. So you enter the code here, then you click on Start Harvesting Spice. The next thing you do is connect your X account. Then you follow Bob. Give them a follow. Go back. We've done that. Then I'm going to link my wallet. Okay. I'm going to connect. And then sign the transaction. So my account is connected now. So I, the next thing is I can deposit ETH or any other coin. I want to deposit um, USDT. $50 worth of money can deposit as low as $10, right? Now, the spice you're going to receive per day is equivalent to the number of USDT you are depositing. So if you deposit, say, one USDT, you're going to re receive one spice per day. If you deposit 100, you receive 100 spice per day. So I'm going to go ahead and deposit or say 54. I'll click on approve. Now this is um, revoke.cash is good to install it. It kind of warns you when you are connecting to a phishing site. I once fell victim to a phishing um, scam, so I had to install revoke.cash. So do where to uh, install it is once you when you mistakenly get to a phishing site. So transaction fee is about five dollars. Now, if you want, if you want a lower transaction fee, just do this thing. The time that the people in the US are sleeping, right? Um, they actually make transaction on Ethereum high. So do that. Maybe around five a.m. in the morning or four a.m. in the morning, you get a much. You can get like two dollars or three dollars in transaction fee. So this is done. Once you're done, after a few minutes your referral code will be shown and you can give to people to use to um, sign up um, and to get you get more reward from it. I'll be leaving mine in the description box below. So that is all you have to do on BOB. Now the next one is Sanctum. Sanctum is designed to facilitate millions of LSTs, that is liquid um, staking tokens, to be all freely tradable with zero slippage. So LSTs like um, BSOL, um, Jito Soul, M Soul can be swapped one for another without losing much of its value. You should swap one B Soul for one Mario Day Soul and get it to one is to one and not lose any value when you're swapping. That is what um, 
Phantom is trying to do is the same thing that Core Finance did for stablecoins on the Ethereum blockchain. Now, by depositing LST, uh, users can earn yield on trading fees. Samtum launched this year. However, the cotton behind Samtum has been working on liquid staking on Solana for more than two years. They initially received a grant to work on staked pool on, on Solana in February of 2021. Samtum has raised over $6 million from notable investors such as Dragonfly Capital, Sequoia Capital, and Solana Ventures. The project does not have a token or a point system. However, its introduction to the Jupyter Launchpad Forum suggests that it is going to have a token soon enough. The way I'm going to show you how to farm Factum will qualify you for another airdrop. So what you do is that you are going to use the Phantom Wallet. Fund Phantom Wallet with Solana. Then you go to Sanctum, Deposit, Soul to get INF. INF is the Sanctum Liquid Stick Soul, like your Jito Soul and M Soul. And once you have staked it, holding the INF gives you a 12% APY. So that's the first one you do. Um, the second thing you do is to go to Metora and deposit a whole amount of INF and so. So what we do this is that the Solana we're going to use to do this farming will divide it by two. So this is Sanctum. My wallet, I have one. So mind you can do this without a little as $10 worth of Solana. But I have one. So I'm going to use um, 0.3 so to do this so i'm going to connect my wallet i'll go ahead and do 0 0.3 here this is about 40 dollars and deposit into infinity pool this is to give me inf so 0 0.3 so will give me 0 0.2519 inf but their values are the same thing so this is completed and i have soul and inf the next thing I do is to go to um, Metora. I'll leave all this link in the description. Here, the same thing, I'm gonna connect my wallet. Once my wallet is connected, I'm gonna deposit equal amount of INF and uh, so. So if I click on maximum, so 0.25 so is equivalent to 0.3 so. So I'm gonna click on deposits. What this does is that it will give me points for the Metora, when the, once they launch their token, I'm going to get some. It will also qualify me for the Sanctum airdrop. Another thing you can do is to just take this same thing, forget about Metora, and go to Camino and still do the deposit in there to um, earn more of Camino. Well, we're already earning Camino, so just go and do a Metora. That is that for Sanctum. The next one is Phoenix. Phoenix is a decentralized exchange on Solana designed to provide spots limit other block functionalities with unparalleled speed efficiency and transparency it is basically bringing the same ease of use and efficiency of the spot market on centralized exchange to the centralized exchange on the solar ecosystem phoenix recently closed a 3.3 million dollar seed round led by electric capital family's airdrop requires you to take actions periodically and the goal is to generate enough trade volume so out of all the airdrop I've talked about, Phoenix is the one you need to come back and do maybe once a week, twice a week, um, once a month, depends on you, just to generate trade volume and to show that you're actually using the ecosystem. Now, one thing you can do is if you know how to trade sports, the same thing, just take that skill of trading sports that I taught in my video, I'll leave it in the description, bring it to Solana and trade sports here on Phoenix. So how you farm the airdrop is simply you go to Phoenix and sell your soul for USDT. So sell your Solana for USDT, not your soul. And um, sell USDT for soul. Just keep on selling one for the other to generate trade volume. Okay, so this is Phoenix. Uh, you can go here to choose the market you want. There are different markets that you can trade. I want to trade soul USDT. So I'll click here to connect my wallets. Now I can use limit order or market order, right? I'm, I'm trading sold USDT. This is the the price. Okay, let me do market first. So I'm gonna click on sell and enter 0 0.3 here. And this will give me $41. I'll click on place market order. And I'm gonna confirm it with my wallets. So sometimes this give an error. So I'm gonna try it again. 
uh, click on place order click on submit so this has actually executed by looking at my wallet let me refresh this so i now have 41 your sat i can start to buy again by buy let me just buy with say $30 worth of my USDT, I can still go to market order and just enter say $40 worth of, of my USDT. So I have bought so now, okay? So now I can try limit order. So limit order, I want to sell when the price gets to $145, okay? So I'm gonna put $145 here. Then I wanna sell, so I wanna sell or so 0 0.3 sold for it, this will give me $43. I'll click on place limit order and that is that. So my order is going to appear here. You can see 145. That is the price. This is what I'm selling. And this is what I'll receive when it stays executed. So when the price of Solana gets to $145, this will automatically be executed. So this simply how you use Phoenix to do your spot trading on Solana. It's simple, it's easy, but mind you, each time you're making a trade, you are going to be paying gas fee. Again, go and watch that video I made on how to do spot trading. You might bring that skills trade here. Now, I've done the airdrops, right? You mustn't do all the airdrop. The only one that your phone will allow you to do and leave the rest. If you can do all, then good for you. And if you're farming lots of airdrop, guys, because a lot of people make this mistake, if you're farming lots of airdrop, what you do is that write them down. Don't just get a pen and paper. You can do this online. Open a Google Doc or a Google Sheets. Write down all the airdrops you're farming so you don't forget them because you might forget them if you're farming a lot of them. And set reminders for the ones you need to do periodically, like this one, you can just do it like maybe weekends, once a week, you try and do it or once daily just to build that trade volume now if you want more regular airdrops what you do is to follow me on twitter i drop a lot of them there i'll see you in the next video